I was 3,000 miles away. My cell phone rang, and someone said, the Monte Carlo is on fire. I'm sending you a picture. And here comes a picture of smoke on the top of the Monte Carlo. I immediately called the newsroom and said, I hope you know there's a fire at the Monte Carlo. And they said to me, not only have we known there was a fire at the Monte Carlo, we should be live on the web within the next few minutes. I thought to myself 3,000 miles away, this is the most incredible thing I've ever heard. Not only did I see that the Monte Carlo was on fire, but I'm now gonna be able to go on my computer 3,000 miles away or 300 yards away and get up to date, fresh, brand new, minute by minute coverage of what could have been a disastrous Las Vegas fire. We lived through one of those things 25 years earlier or so, certainly didn't want to see that again. What we got was this incredible coverage on the web all day, followed by the next day some of the best journalism I've ever read in the Las Vegas Sun or any other newspaper about that fire. And when you looked at those things together, I said, my God, this is it. This is the future of journalism, and it's here right now, and these guys did it. I was excited, not for the fire, but for the way we covered it. What should a newspaper in the 21st century look, feel, and read like? And the conclusions we came to was, it can't be anything like the newspaper from 10 years ago or from 50 years ago. Our newspaper on the web looks like a daily newspaper from the 1950s on steroids that has a 20-minute deadline instead of, instead of a 24-hour deadline. And our newspaper in print looks a whole lot like a daily magazine edition of what's really important and vital and substantive that real newspaper readers, the people who want to sit down on Sunday and read for hours, can do every single day of their lives. I think what we've done in the sun and, and at the sun and over the last two or three years is change the way we think about providing news and information. It's all coming together in a way that brings out the very best in the mission of journalism. Just provide the information, provide some insight, give it some context, give it some perspective, and every once in a while give them your opinion. Now, who doesn't want to do that? What we have been able to do at the Las Vegas Sun is draw a brand new picture of what journalism should look like. And we're following that plan. We're executing on that plan. And I believe, you know, if we talked again in a year, you'd be able to look back and say, my God, the Las Vegas Sun was so much closer to right than they were to wrong. And we all better jump on board. We've got an incredible group of people now who are working their behinds off to make sure that when it's all said and done, the Las Vegas Sun is at the lead of the pack and not at the back. I didn't recognize my newsroom a number of months ago when I went back there. All new faces, but I recognize them through their writing. They are amazing, amazing journalists. And when you couple those folks with these kids, I think most of them are from Kansas, but they're from all over the country. Maybe they're 35, most of them are younger. They have a whole different idea about how to put out news products. The one constant is they're all journalists and they all care about journalism. And to watch them come together, almost seamlessly, a year from now, you won't notice the difference, other than the age. They will all be working toward the same goal. They will all be working together, as most of them are today. And when you talk about innovation, I think far beyond the technology, the innovation is the ability to get these people to all work together and believe and feel that they're all on the same team. Now that's innovation.